In this video, we will work on the cover transition where we cover the current page and reveal the next page. Let's slow it down. Let's set it to 25%. We've got the transition element covering the screen and then we're revealing the page under. And that's what we will be doing in this video. As with the other transitions, we can just duplicate this, call it with cover, paste it on the namespace too. We don't want to sync this. We will have it running one after the other. So this is the transition itself. Then in the with cover page, we of course need to add the Barba containers. So let's do that quickly. And we'll set the namespace to with cover. This should be very straightforward if you followed all the other examples. Now we have wrapper container, the namespace, transition, and now we just need to add the right CSS for our transition. The difference between this animation or transition and the other ones is that now we want to animate element inside of the container. Okay, so when we have the classes on the container, we want to animate the child and we need to position it at the start of the transition away from the screen. And then in the end of the leave transition, we want to cover the screen. And then in the start of the enter transition, we still want it to be there and then animate out to the bottom of the screen. Okay, so we'll need to not really animated the container itself, we are animating the children of it. Okay, so that's the difference between this transition and the previous few transitions. So just keep that in mind. And Barba listens for transitions on the container. So we need to put some transition on it for the classes to stay on the container, but it will not really do any, any animation, any transition to the container itself visually the only animation that will happen are to the children, okay? But for Baba to work, to keep the classes there, we still need to add the transition to the correct Barba containers. To save us some time typing, I will just paste the CSS classes in. If you followed all the other examples, it's exactly the same process. Firstly, we creating the animation out, the leaf, so we want the cover to start off the screen and then cover the whole page. And when we entering, we want the transition to start in the middle of the viewport and then move down below it. Okay, so that's how we positioning the cover. And now we need to include the classes for the transition with the transition. And for that, we would normally do with cover leave active and with cover enter active. So this would be the normal process, but we, we want to, of course, include the transition on this, but also you need to remember that we are animating the child of these classes. Okay. So as I mentioned before, we need to include it on the container itself for Barba to listen for the transition end, but visually we would not see in this case, any animation we need to add the dot transition to these classes as well. That will move the cover screen to the right offset in the right time during the transition. So we need the first two classes to tell Barba, keep the classes on our container. And the second set of the active classes is for the cover to move. Okay, so let's go back to the browser. Let's speed it up and click on the cover with slow down animations, we'll see it coming from the top and then being revealed down to the bottom of the screen. So hopefully that makes sense how we need to include the transition on the top level elements, but also on the element that is moving on both pages. Okay, the cover is inside of both headers, the transition element, the div with a class transition is inside of both headers and it's using CSS transform just to slide across the screen. If I go translate Y, whatever value will see it on the screen moving up and down 
So that's what's being translated. And this transition element is in both pages. So this is slightly different approach. We have the child element nested inside of the current page and incoming page. And if we remove the top two classes, we will not see the transition because there is no animation. Barba is not waiting for any animation, doesn't know how long to keep the classes on. So we'll see just the flash of the cover screen and then the second page straight away. Now let's recap what we've done in this video. We've created one more transition, called it WizCover. We're using it when we go to WizCover page, leave and enter hooks. On the WizCover, we've got the Barba wrapper, Barba container, and the right namespace. And inside of WizCover, we firstly created the leaving state. The start of the leaving is the transition being on top of the viewport, outside of the viewport, and then we moving it to cover the whole screen. When the enter animation starts, we still covering the whole screen because that is the incoming container starting point, And then we animating it outside of the viewport at the end of the transition. Okay. So these are the states when, where we want the transition cover to be. And then we define four classes, not just two, but four of them to be able to listen for the transition end on the top level containers. And then to see visually the transition element to move, we had to target the child element of these containers. Okay, so hope that makes sense how this cover animation was created. And I'll see you in the next video.